Hi there, do you have recurring negative thought? I will share with you a total new paradigm that will provide you a sustainable, lasting solution that will free you from recurring negative thoughts. So today will be the third and last set of three video best practices that will help you overcome recurring negative thoughts. I will give you the next level to quantum the teachers from an applied spirit vantage point so that you can be on your way to overcoming recurring negative thoughts. Let's jump in. I am Kosho. Welcome to our Performance Edge Weekly Wisdom. In today's third video set on how to overcome recurring negative thought, I will show you a total new paradigm on why we have entered a new era of humanity evolution, but yet many people are not aware of it. But that new understanding that I will share will open a new window for you to amplify your impact. Second, I'll show you a new model on how human operates, which will equip you to create a sustainable breakthrough and third, I will provide you a solution you could use right away so you can start baby steps of spirit performance coaching. But before we move further, so here in part three, I'm assuming that you have watched part one and part two, and that despite the two pillars, you still have recurring negative thought. So let's start with the first building block in spirit performance coaching. We start with new worldview that only a few people are aware of. Simply, we are living in a VUCA world which means there is more demand and pressure imposed on us. In today's volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous world, of VUCA world, the many demands in our lives have highlighted the challenges that are multi-level and more complex. So we are in need of a new paradigm. Why? Because quite simply, the old model are no longer working. And you know why? It's a failure to realize that human current consciousness had reached its apex. And basically, we are running an old software. What do I mean? For context, in part two, we discuss about the ancestor of the current human species or the Homo double sapiens or the Homo sapiens sapiens, which has two knowing, which is I know that I know, or we can think about what we're thinking about. But in order to excel in the VUCA world, the solely view point of I can think about what I was thinking about as reaches limits. So the pinnacle of that paradigm can be described the Cartesian model, which is the father was René Descartes, a French philosopher and mathematician in 1600, which I think, so I am. I think, so I am, that's very powerful. That's what allows us to go to the moon. That's what allows us to do amazing surgeries and saving lives, right? And of course, it's still needed today. But obviously, in the VUCA world, that paradigm has reached its limit because it's fundamentally based on the binary worldview. So as an evolving humanity, we are hitting a wall. And this is because we need a new paradigm. And that's what the quantum dot teaches. We have entered a new era where we're homo sapiens sapiens, homo triple sapiens. It's an era of homo triple sapiens. And the homo triple sapiens says, I know more than I know that I know. I know more than I know that I know. So there's a third knowing that our human species need to tap into that was known from ancient tradition. And that is, the missing link, and it is spiritual intelligence, SQ. You might have heard about cognitive intelligence, IQ. You probably have heard about emotional intelligence, EQ. But what hasn't been democratized yet is spiritual intelligence. So the time has come to immerse people into spirit, apply spirit, and everyone needs to be equipped. So I don't have a whole time to explain about the quantum do here, but you can find out more about that by watching my video about the quantum. Quantum do is basically a spirit elevation platform system that equip people to move them from being rigid, from being stuck, from being self-absorbed, from being doubtful, from being frustrated or overwhelmed, to being effectively in a flow, confident, ease of state of optimal performance. Now let's come back to Homo triple sapiens era. And I want to explain that fundamental new reality that escaping a lot of people, that people need to understand. And I'm going to exp explain it from three vantage points so you have no doubt and you can grasp the relevance of this new understanding. So what do I mean by that? That we have entered a new era of Homo sapiens 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 or Homo triple sapiens. So the Homo triple sapiens evolution comes from the third knowing. How? I know more than I know that I. So basically it's I am certain that I know certain things deep within me, but I just don't know them yet from my rational brain and my current reality. How can you be certain of that? This is scientific, it's quantum physics. Basically the quantum field, the quantum field is a field of energy that in our daily activities, our brain waves cannot access all of them. So as you remember, we talk about how different frequencies will give you different information, right? What is clear that scientifically different animals have access to different earth electromagnets. If you look at different energetical information fields, so for example, the bat at night 
the snake or many animals they know before an earthquake manifests where to hide or where to move on, right? So similarly, we know for a fact that the brain has different wave frequencies, right? We, we, we look at them last time. So meaning based on where your brain zip code is functionally operating at, right? Most of the time. So you will be able to access only what you are tuning into and nothing else outside of that. So the key is to learn your brain way so you can have access to all the ranges that your brain can produce and have access to. And that's what we do in a quantum door, right? So in fact, just an example, if you're a leader or you struggle with innovation or having vision for you, well, you know, as a leader, it's simply because you haven't learned to go outside of your current brainwave frequency zip code. So now with the advent of quantum physics, we know that the observer affects the ob observation. But beyond that, a simple down to earth practical vantage point is that what? Is to acknowledge with humility the simple fact that we, what we call unknown today is just what we haven't discovered. It's in the unknown that new experiences happen. And so that's why you want to enter that unknown with grace. This is relevant because when you have negative recurring thoughts, it means that deep within you, you know that something needs to be expressed. You know that something needs to be known. In simple terms, you know that there is more to be experienced, more to be expressed, more to be known. And this is why in spirit performance coaching, the need for self-honesty is key. So when you stand and you say, I know more than I know that I know. It's that inherent knowing that allows you to bridge invisible with the visible. This is where spirituality and science meet. Yes. And I don't have a whole time to go here in more details, but here, but you are, if you are truly interested, I have developed, you know, an online course, Radiant Soul, you know, six weeks online course that goes into further detail and you can check on that on my website. But let's come back to why that first principle is important because it leads to the second one, which is a second principle, because you are here in this human existence to experience your essence and your authentic divine self. So in other words, your existence is a primal desire of your spirit desire and to ex existence is a reflection of your essence. For example, a good metaphor I like to teach my client is when you go in a restaurant, the restaurant menu is the essence of all the potential it is. And when you order your meal, you are experiencing in flesh one meal among many others that were in the menu. So the meal you are having is a reflection of a menu. So this is relevant because when you have negative recurring thoughts, it means there is a misalignment in the reflection between your authentic spirit desires and your experience with that understanding that leads us to principle three, which is basically human experience themselves in different dimension. And you will see why it's relevant because when you have negative recurring thought, the five main dimensions of man, which are right now the physical dimension, the mental dimension, the emotional dimension, the spirit dimension and the depth dimension. Why those are relevant? Because when you have recurring negative thought, it means you are stuck and having misalignment in a mental dimension. But you will agree with me that recurring negative thought is also reflected if you pay attention to recurring negative fear, recurring negative feeling in the emotional dimension. So because the bigger the misalignment and the wider the gap between your authentic desires against your reality, the more you experience emotional pain. And that pain can take many forms, like addictions. Obviously the addiction to, to quick pills is the first one, but it can be addiction to other substances. Right? And that emotional pain will keep increasing if not handled with awareness because pain is reflecting a deep fear that needs to be resolved. And that's a spiritual work where we need to grow and we need to evolve because fear is protecting an all consciousness level and the old you that is outdated and that need to be outgrown. So for example, for some people, the urge to take a drug, for example, in the physical dimension is due to the chemical imbalance in the brain in physical dimension, which is a result of an emotional imbalance in emotional dimensions, which is also an imbalance in a mental dimension due to the illusions that are contrasting to your reality, which in turn is also further a result of misalignment of your authentic desire in the spirit dimension versus your reality. How is it so? That leads us to principle four, your performance and your result a reflection of your key spirit performance indicator. Your reality is basically spirit actualized into form. That is a fundamental paradigm in the quantum door that is based and known for the early human civilization. But that has been lost but revitalized with the quantum door research. So to simply put it, when you have recurring negative thoughts, 
the depression, the anxiety, the stress you face is a misalignment between your authentic spirit desire versus your reality. Haven't you noticed that for some people, despite fame, despite money, there is still that constant seeking. Why? Because the ultimate game of existence is alignment. That's the best skills the masters in all culture have tried to teach throughout the ages. Alignment between your authentic spirit desires and your reality. And I don't have time to go all over, but let me give you an example with just one of the key spirit indicator, that is tension. So why tension occurs? Tension occurs when it's a signal that you have a spiritual growth opportunity that is seeking to be expressed, especially when you are recurring, when you have recurring negative thought. Tension is felt when there is a misalignment between the illusion you have from the three drivers of your experience versus your authentic spirit desire. What happens is you are not able to see your true reflection because of illusion that are on your way. So it's like a dusty mirror. It's hard for you to clearly see because illusions, they interfere with your true reflections and that causes misalignment and pain as a result. So the key secret is to realize that your expectations correspond to an identity and to an image. And then the spirit work is for you to see that, that there is an expectation of what I want. There is an expectation of a value. There is an expectation of an image of what I am supposed to have, what I'm supposed to be. So whether or not if that image, that identity, that value needs to be outgrown or if you need to change the magnitude of your approach or your procedure. So basically, spirit reflections are designed to identify element driver which is seeking expression. So the spirit work is twofold. One, to uncover that latent consciousness level that needs to be outgrown and should you evolve from that, make that decision. Which means you need to review that image expectation through the three drivers. And so if you still have negative recurring thought, most likely they are not authentic desires because mostly they are coming from one of the drivers that, you know, I talk about in one of my videos if you haven't, but the three drivers are social conformity, self-projection, resources, right? So in any case, if a desire of expectation is authentic, you will be able to see your reflection and you will be able to evolve from that latent consciousness that you are you are not aware of. So when you are able to unfold the consciousness level, that is at the cause of your tension, you are able to release that tension, which was at the cause of your stress, which led you, for example, to maybe overeating or, you know, or not wanting to exercise or, you know, or just blowing out or that's what got you into the emotional dilemma. So everything that becomes symptomatic that your physician treat you through, you know, um, medication, Right? So if you can handle that at the root cause, you will not need to handle that at the symptom level. Yes? So yes, it will take some training and awareness, right? But then you'll be positioned with a lifelong methodology. And yes, I want to be cognizant. I can talk about this forever, but I want to be, I want to conserve your time. So if you want to know more and you want to continue this conversation with me, please join us, our exclusive new community, Performance Edge Wisdom Community. And the link is right there below. You can look at it. And you'll get access to more tips and relevant answer to your real problems. Or if you have any specific issue you want to talk about, you can submit them in the comments or request a specific video. The, the link is right there for topic request, www.thequantumdo.com forward slash video. Or if you want to be confidential and you need an NDA, please send an email to the team at support at the quantum .com. All right, I, I really want to make sure that you get the, all the information. So do not forget, failure is a necessary prerequisite to human excellence. Till next time, live your truth. Course soul, out. <laughs>